are ready. Ah! <laughs> well, you're not even on. Where are you going? <laughs> there we go. That way they can see you. Hi, everybody. Hi. You can't see me a little bit up here. Not that you need to see me. But that's okay. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I Welcome can't back. Move. It's because yeah, you're moving we'll that way. Back. You're like moving which way? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's get started. I don't know if anybody's going to be on here because it's been so long. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've been on. Many months, I think. So we decided to come on today to show you this cute little ornament. Hats. Um, these little ornament hats. Um, oh my gosh, how cute are they? Look at them. They're so adorable. Mm -hmm. So two different styles. I'll show you. We'll do one and then I'll show you how to uh, make either style. You little like this one or this one, which I added something to, obviously. So we're going to make these cute little guys, uh, these little ornaments. Um, I've seen other people who have made them into a whole bunch of them and they strung them together and made garland. Um, I don't really have that much effort inside of me right now to make that many so we're just going to make a few ornaments okay so this is what we're going to do cole has already started one do you want to show everybody kind of how yours so that's the one that cole has started that's what it looks like when it's about oh i would say a third of the way done he started it and um he is um gonna sorry i just have this one over here in case i need to see comments once we're once we flip it down but um so he's got it down. He's got a really good handle on it. It's that easy. I showed him just half hour ago and he's got it. So let's get started. So you need yarn and you can see here I've got all kinds of yarn, um, just regular yarn. I wouldn't use, um, of course I don't have any on me. I wouldn't use that string, I forget what it's called. Um, you know, the string that like Cole and I have made these bracelets out of, I forget what it's called, but I wouldn't use that only because it would take probably, I don't know, four times as much. It'll take a lot longer, um, but you can use whatever you want. You could probably use ribbon if you wanted to. You could use a big fat yarn um, to do make it less. It's just make it really puffy. So we're going to use this kind of standard yarn, okay? So we just have... Um, regular old I don't know what the weight on them I don't know anything about yarn so yeah. um anyways we're gonna use this Cole has chosen these two colors orange and like a a, 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 a blue a like very a, a, light blue an aqua I am gonna do white should I do white yeah white white the same aqua and black. I'm going to do those three together. Um, I'm going to make a little sharks theme. San Jose sharks. One. So um, all you need, I posted a picture in the supplies, is you need yarn. You could just do it with one color. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you need yarn and you need either a paper towel roll. Obviously, you can get a lot more out of it. Um, or toilet paper or whatever. Cole and I are using this one only because I've already started to cut it. And this one seems a little sturdier. This must be the cheap paper towel rolls because, you know, well, right now I'm just going to take whatever paper towels I can get. <laughs> so, but we're going to use this and you will need scissors. And I would say a ruler, not necessarily for measuring, although you could use it to measure because I'm going to talk about that in a second. Or you've probably seen this before, seen me do it. If you just have like a piece of cardboard um, or a, a board, honestly, you could use a box. You could use anything. Um, really, all you need that for is to cut all your strings the same length. Now, yes, you could go and you could say, oh, there's one. But that would take longer. There's two. We would be here for days. Yeah. Yeah. So, you again, you've probably seen me do this before on another one. I like, think, chop I it up a lot. <laughs> I don't remember what the video was. It must have been, maybe when we made the string baskets, maybe. But I'm going to show you really, I'm, you know, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but just as a reminder, um, I'm going to show you how to get all the strings the same size um, in a much faster way. Of course, now I can't find the end of the string. There it is. Okay. All right, so we are going to get started. So I've already cut some of my strings over here. You are going to need about, for the whole hat, whichever hat, doesn't matter, to cover this size ring, 
you are going to need about, I would say, 40-ish pieces of string. If you are breaking the colors up, like Cole is doing two different colors, so we did about 20 cuts or so um, of each color to equal the, the 40. Um, he may need more, but then you can just cut a few more if you need to. But here's the basic way that you're going to cut all those that many and you're making them all the same length. So I'm going to cut 20 even though I don't need necessarily 20. So a ruler or your cardboard, okay? Either one is fine. i got stuff all over the place here. I found that paper! What? This? Yeah. Well, it's cardboard, so it's Cardboard heavy. paper. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting one end of the string, starting it here at the ruler, and your string lengths should be, I would say, about 10 inches, or I'm just going to make them 12, because, well, this is a 12-inch ruler, so I am going to make them 12. So I would say you want them at least 10. I would say Cole's, <laughs> Cole's is, I think, about 10. Actually, his might be a little bit longer, because we wrapped his around this. But this is really easy. So if you're wrapping it around the ruler, all you're going to do is you're going to put one end here, and you're going to take the rest of it, and you're going to wrap it, like, 20 times, because then you'll get 40 pieces. So we're going to go one. You're going to count for me. Two. Oh, I'm already stuck. Look at that. <laughs> I already have a knot in my in my skein here. Okay, two, two. Three. three. Oh my gosh, this black one, of course. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, is right. Okay, hold on. Failure. Where's the end? We're going to start over. I don't know where the, this got into a knot somehow. Maybe if I just take some of this off. There we go. Okay, what was that? Three? I don't know, ish. That didn't work either. <laughs> this is what happens with live videos. I can't mm -hmm. find it. Okay, maybe I'm going to pull through the opposite end. It worked so well with the other colors, didn't it? Yeah. We must have pulled it from the wrong end. Let's find this end. There we go. Here we go. Come, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> all right. So again, in case you missed it. All right. Here we go. Starting over. One. Two. Are you counting for me? Three. Four. <laughs> okay, this is what we do. We just cut this and we start over with the actual string. Goodness gracious me. To quote Cole. What do you usually say? Goodness, aye, aye, aye. goodness me. Goodness me or aye, okay. Aye. What is this? Fourth time now? Yeah. This doesn't work. I'm just going with the other colors. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, that's more than enough. Okay. We can get to the end, just cut it, move this out of the way. It was troublesome. All right, so now all you're going to do is you are just going to lift up, stick your scissors under it at the end, snip. I just hold it in place, flip it around. If it comes off, oh well, it comes off, so no big deal. Make it equal. Now you have a whole bunch that are all the same. Got it? Sorry, that was a really major, major pain in the butt, okay? So I've got all, I got a whole bunch of colors over here. I'm not gonna use all those colors, all right? I'm gonna put flip it down once I show you the actual technique because you really kind of need to see it's not tying is basically what it is. So I'll flip it down when we get to that point. Okay, sorry buddy, I moved your... Okay, so now you're going to take your toilet paper roll or your paper towel roll, and you're going to cut one of the ends, I would say about, I don't know, half an inch, maybe, three quarters. You could do it bigger. The bigger it is, is this is the part right here, right here. This is how, that's the paper towel um, roll. That's the cardboard. So however big that is just makes the brim, I guess, bigger. So I'm going to go with, I don't know, probably about three quarters to an inch, so... Half an inch will make it smaller, obviously, um, and it might make it a little bit more flimsy and harder to wrap around. But all I did was cut a little ring off. Okay? Easy peasy. As Cole says, lizard squeezy. 
All right. Okay, so I'm going to tilt the camera down now so that you can see how this works. It's so, so easy. I can't even. And can't they're even. very cute. And they're very cute. Super cute. All right, so I'm going to flip this down so that you can see Cole working as well as me. I'm trying to move this so that you can actually get on camera a little because they want to see yours here. Okay, so I'm going to take my, I don't, not orange, I don't want orange in here right now. All right, so I got my three strings. All right, don't need scissors, put those to the side. You just need your strings. All right, so these are the three colors that I'm going to do. So Cole did it really cool. He kind of copied what I did here in that um, I did three of each color and then moved on and just did it as a pattern all the way around, okay? So he kind of did the same thing. He did three of each one. And then all he's doing is he's once he ties them on, he's kind of squishing them together to make them a little bit tighter. I'm going to make them tighter for you, buddy, okay? You. Just You're very welcome. That's one tricky, tricky part. So this is what we're going for, okay? Really super easy. Look at Cole's like halfway done. Okay, so you're going to take your ring and you're going to pick whichever color you want to start with, okay? I'm going to start with white. Maybe. No, I'm going to start with black actually. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'll do the three pattern. You don't have to. You can do one, 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 one. You could do all, all black, all, whatever. You could do it all one color, but I'm going to pick three and I'm just going to, I told Cole to separate three out. That way you don't forget how many you've done. You don't have to go back and count. Okay. And you can probably see what he's doing. Get up a little bit for you, but he's got it pretty well um, under control. He's got the good thing going. Okay. So you're going to take your string. You're going to fold it over like that. Sorry, so that you can see whoop, this way, All right? You're going to fold it over, pinch it like this so that you have, it's pretty much even on both sides, All right? With your, leave that out of the way so you can see the white background better. All right, so I have a loop end here, loose end on this, okay? You're going to take your loop end, you are going to feed it through like so, you're going to grab the loop end and you're going to meet the other by doing what's called a simple knot. Of course, now I can't seem to get my hands cold down here in the basement. And you're going to do a simple knot. So you're going to take this, your two ends, loop them through, and pull. Now, if you don't know what a simple knot is, this is your video. This is your video. Right? We're teaching yeah. people how to do a simple knot. Okay? Yes. So let's do that again. But also um, make these little hats. And make these little hats. Ornaments. All right. So, Ornaments. right. So we got my loop on one end. Always keep, like, if I'm going to choose the loop to be on, start on my left hand, then I'm going to always do that. And then the loose ends on the right. That keeps everything going the same direction. Same thing what I was telling Cole. Not that you can't fix it. But if I'm going to have it go loop through to my left and pull through to my right, I'm going to do that the same every single time. Okay, so again, sorry, I'm trying to move back here so you can see it. Loop on this end, loose ends here, pull the loop through, and then you just pull it tight. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then all you're going to do is you just kind of give it a little tug so that it's tight on the cardboard. And then I just slide it over to meet the other one so that they are nice and tight together. The tighter they are, you don't want to overlap them really because then it gets it messy. But the tighter they are, the less you'll see of the cardboard. So like if we go in here, if there's any loose spots, you'd see a little cardboard showing through. So the tighter they you can get them together, the better. All right. I can't see any of mine. What do you mean? Like any gaps of cardboard. Oh, that means you're doing really good. Sorry, buddy. I keep bumping you with my chair. All right. So loop. Grab it. Pull loop over. Tie. Now, I'm going to show you something that happened to Cole and see if it happens to you how you can fix it really easy. Okay. So this is what we're going for. This is what you want it to look like. I know black was probably not the right color to start with for you to see the knots. Okay, so I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with the next color, and I'm going to show you trouble, troubleshooting here, all right? So I'm, I'm doing my teal, I got my loop in my left hand, I did it correct this way, um, 
and I loop it through. And let's say when I pull it tight, I accidentally pull it this direction. Whoops, that's the wrong way. If you start doing it this way, you'll have strings going this way and strings going this way. And then you'll be like, I don't know where the, how to make the top of my hat. So what I told Cole is if you accidentally go pull the wrong direction, all you really have to do is just flip it over. Like you just literally see how it was, it was over here. You can loosen it a little if it's easier, but if it was like this, all you really got to do is take this and just tell it, I want it on this side, yo, come on now. Yeah. And put it there and then pull it tight. And then you just keep working your way around. <laughs> it's just a pattern, right? It's just a pattern. Loop, tie, pull, it's and just then slide. All right, and then just keep on going. Keep on moving, don't stop. Or okay. keep on swimming. <laughs> Loop. Pull. And you just keep going. And that was my three of that color. So here's what we got so far. And then we're just going to keep moving our way around. Right? And I'll just, I'll after every three or so, I'm just going to kind of pull them tight. Let's grab maybe three white ones. If you accidentally drop, like let's say you don't get both pieces through, well, it's not really going to make it into a knot. So you you'll know you'll know if it got, if that part got messed up. I love that we're back. What making a video? Yeah. Gosh, yeah, it's been so long. Well, we kind of got busy because you went back to school for a little while, and now you're home all the time, and. So now we're, and it's Wednesday, so I don't go, I mean, I don't sign on. It's not like live meets any. On Wednesdays, yeah. Yeah. So full remote day, huh? Yeah, full remote. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you now. Here's what, just the, the completed pattern. All right. So this is our completed pattern so far. How are you doing over there? You are cranking through. Excellent. So, guys, you might think you actually done one, two, six of them, but they're just con. That's the same string because you fold, fold, and then turn like crisscross, mm -hmm. and then. And then do it this way. And then it goes like through here. And then you just tie it like this. See, it looks like two right now. That's, see, it looks like two. It's that it's one whole string. You're right. So you might get confused. So you know what they could do is they could count the knot, right? If like let's say they, yeah. they can count this little knot right there, because that looks like a one. But like one, one thing, right? Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Excellent point. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do so that you don't have to just sit here and watch us the you know whole time. I was hoping Cole would be almost done. He is pretty close to done with his. Um, I'm going to take this one apart really quick, um, the blue one I did, just so that you can see what the finished step is. Okay, so, all right, so let's say this is your, nope, oh, that's not what it would look like. That was the finished. Okay, let me push them back through so you can see what it would look like. Okay. All right, so I'm taking this one apart. This was the one we made yesterday. This is our Daddy's Dallas Cowboys one. <laughs> Because, you know, those are the, are the colors that I had initially. Okay, so this is what it would look like when it's complete before you decide on the style of hat. If you want it to be like a beanie where it doesn't have all the extra loose pieces at the top. I put a little ball here. You don't even have to do that. That was just put on with yeah. hot glue. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. So if you want 
this um this style right if you want this style with nothing on the top then what you're going to do is you are going to sorry buddy fine. sorry um goodness gracious so this one since it was already completed the strings are a little bit shorter but we're going to make it happen so you're going to tie this off first so you need to put a tie around that. So I'm just going to find, um, I'll just use one of these white ones. Actually, let's use a gray one. Okay. So you're going to get just one of your extra pieces. You're just going to tie this around. Doesn't need to be pretty, although I would probably try to make it, you know, um, equal in length because it'll become part of your, part of your hat. So you're going to tie it. I would just do a knot. Right, like an actual knot so it stays nice and taut. Okay, so now you have it tied like this. All right, so once you have it tied, all you're going to do, and I would say when you tie it, you can probably do it about an inch above, oh, sorry, not even on camera, about an inch above your ring. And again, this for right now, I'm doing this style. Where there's nothing on the top so you tie it first and then i'm just going to give it kind of a little bit of a twist so it stays nice and taut and you're going to shove it through you're going to push it through and you're just going to keep on tug like tucking it you're going to tuck all those extra strings right inside there and just push it all the way in if you have extras like this was the one that i tied around for the knot you can cut them, or I'm just gonna keep pushing them. So all I'm doing is I'm just pushing them in there. I'm just so close. Tucking. You so are close. so close. It doesn't look like a jellyfish right now. So all I'm doing is I'm just tucking them right inside there. Okay. So what you could do to keep it nice and tight inside there is you could stick like a cotton ball. <laughs> um, you could even put like Yay. some tissue paper in there just to keep it kind of taut. But there you go, and now you have a little beanie. This one's a little bit messy because I had already cut the string, so they were a little bit too short. So now I'm gonna take this back apart and show you what it looks like if you are doing the kind that it originally was. All right, so I'm gonna get another string here. Okay, so now, again, if you were at the end stages, I'm gonna kind of tuck this through. I'm putting my fingers in there to try to get it all like kind of combed out, right? So that there's none in there that are like flipped around. You can give it a little shake. Um, and then I just take my fingers to kind of push it through so that there's not any in there. I don't know if you can really see inside there. So that they're like, good like that. Okay, so now if you want the other kind, not this kind of hat, but if you want the other one, which is what this one originally was, you are gonna twist, give it a little bit of a twist. And then, push through and then push it through so that now the strings are a little bit shorter and it's sticking kind of up like this. Wait, I think I did that wrong because I was supposed to push it through. Accident. Yeah, that's right. You might have just ruined that. Well, I didn't really just ruin it. It just... Hold on. Let me get this undone. Let me undo it. I'm getting it back to where it was, like, what about where Cole is. He's almost there. Oh, my gosh. Catch it up. Catch it up. Okay. Oh, I need to start a new color. I, I forgot. I need to start a new color now. I forgot. Okay, sorry about that, people. Okay. It was really messy. Okay. So now, all you're going to do is you've put, pushed them through. Tie string around it so the only difference is that the first one the first one we this one we tied it 
and then shoved it through. This one is shove through, then tie, right? So then I'm gonna tie this one right here. Da, 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 da. Maybe if I can get the string through. Okay, so then I've tied this. That's good enough. Okay, and then I would shove in again, I would put in like either a cotton ball or some tissue paper and all that does is it gives it its shape, give it gives it its shape. Any so here's your your hat with your little fun stuff on top. And then if you want if that's too long, if those are just too long, so like these are my that's the one I tied, so I'm going to cut those. You could literally just go and trim them trim trim it smaller, shorter. So you're Can I try? Fluff. Well, you can, except that earlier you were trying to cut a lot of pieces. It wouldn't work. And now you have that hat. There you go. So here are your two hat styles. Again, the difference is once you're done and you're at, let me show this to them. Once you're pretty much done and you have it like this, the only difference between them is for this one, tie the knot first and then push through and then stick something in the bottom maybe. For this one, push it through first and then tie the knot and then trim the excess the way you like it. Okay. Um, the cotton ball or a piece of, um, you know, some t crumpled up tissue paper just gives it some form. If you don't have anything in there, it may not stay in that nice round like head shape. So then the last step, if you want, because these are, we are going to use these as ornaments, there's a couple things you could do. You could either have left one of those strings a little bit long and tie um, like a little hook on it. You could tie a string on it. I have somewhere in here ornament holders because of the other ornaments that I was doing. You could take this and you could, I mean, you could loop it just through the, the string. I just looped it right through the, um, the string that I tied. So you could either do that. Honestly, you probably could just find some threads in the middle here and get it through there somehow. Um, you know, the actual threads itself or, um, or tie it, like I said, tie it off. Sorry, I keep going off camera because I'm trying to keep Cole on here too. You can do that. So but then for this one, for this one, I probably, um, I might actually for this guy, I might take like a, this is hot glued on. I might take this around and tie it really tight around the little puff ball. I'm just going to twist it right now for the sake of demonstration and then have it hung like that. Can that I might see? be, that might be how to do that. Can I see? Mm -hmm. So I would tie it. I would tie it around there so that it actually hangs like with a ribbon or something. Um, or like I said, you can attach it with one of these little guys. You probably could just go in here just like I did for the other one and hang it like that. And there you go. My there are your scrolled. ornaments. My yeah, did it? Scrolled. Okay, great. I'm so glad that everybody, you know, heard your tummy just scroll. And that's that. So there are your cute little winter hat ornaments. I'll post a picture of Cole's when he's done and mine when I'm done. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, so there we go. All right, well, everybody have a good day. And if we're yes. not on again, have a great holiday season. Yes. Okay. And have a great day. And be artsy. <laughs> oh, yeah, be artsy. Go follow your page, right? Be artsy. All right. Good job, buddy. All right, bye.